I want to thank my colleague for yielding, uh, Mr. Speaker. I rise um, today to celebrate the lives of two extraordinary public servants, uh, both considered from Southern Illinois, uh, one from deep Southern Illinois, uh, State um, Senator Alan Dixon and Congressman Kenny Gray. Both passed within the last week or so, but our mourning has turned into remembrance and reverence for their undeniable commitment to all of us. Senator Alan Dixon, or as he was commonly known, Al the Pal, as we from Illinois knew him, and eventually everyone else um, in this institution and in, in Washington knew him as that also, was a larger-than-life personality with a can-do spirit, if you will. He came to Washington to get things done, particularly for his beloved Illinois, from his beginnings in Belleville and St. Clair County to being state treasurer and secretary of state. He modernized the offices he served in to better serve the people of the state. Elected to the U.S. Senate in 1980, he soon, he soon realized that Illinois lacked a cohesive message in Washington, D.C. With Senator Chuck Percy, he began monthly Illinois get-togethers that continue to this day. It brings together members of the House and the Senate, downstate, Chicago, Republican, Democrat, conservative, moderate, liberals, we sit around and we talk about the Illinois agenda and how we can work together to advance it. Our prayers and best wishes go out to his wife, Jody, and his family and friends. I would also like to single out a couple other people who were very special in his life. One was Gene Callahan and Scott Shearer. Their public service on his behalf is emblematic of that, all those who work for my friend, Al the Pal. And just on a side note to my colleague, we have a colleague here who's a member of Congress, Sherry Bustos, who is the daughter of Jean. And there's that uh, great connection of, uh, in essence, a politically active family that continues to serve. We'll miss Al the Pal. He was a, a great friend and a great public servant. Now, Mr. Speaker, let me turn to Kenny Gray. Kenny Gray is a very colorful member of this chamber, well known for spending many hours in the chair. Um, he loved this house so much that after he retired, he, uh, he ran again and came back. He was known as really a cult personality. In a sea of Washington gray suits, white shirts, and red ties, Kenny stormed through this place in the flurry of colors that had never been seen before. But you dare not look away as the Prince of Southern Illinois was here and he was determined to fight for his constituents. Kenny made a big difference in Southern Illinois as the coal industry started suffering challenges. He worked hard. He was known as the Prince of Pork, the Prince of Southern Illinois. He worked diligent to bring the, inter the interstate system to Southern Illinois. And he's also credited bring with a major water conservancy uh, Ren Lake, which brings and provides much of the needy drinking water to so southern Illinois, and I would argue deep southern Illinois. I'm reminded of how he helped young people from southern Illinois come and grow here in D.C. A, a favorite example is my friend Brenda, Brenda Otterson of West Frankfurt, who came out to D.C. a few years back. She came here as a Republican. Kenny is a Democrat. But as a Republican, Brenda came from a family of Democrats. Try as he might, Kenny worked hard to convert her. When he finally realized she wasn't budging, he said, fine, and helped her get a full-time job with a Republican member. She served with distinction and never forgot her Kenny Gray roots. Kenny's wife, Toadie, and their family deserves a special prayer and thanks from all of us. Mr. Speaker, uh, we, uh, time comes and time goes. Rabid debate, a flurry of activities. Uh, we always take time out to remember those who of our colleagues from future generations who have served, served nobly, and then, and then gone home. I think it's just fitting to remember that we, uh, we remember those who served selflessly for many years uh, as we take up their call to continue to do the same. Um, it's also important to remember 
to uh, enjoy each and every day, enjoy life, work hard, because uh, everything has its time under the sun and everything is passing. That's why I appreciate uh, the opportunity to serve. Um, I love the chamber. I love my colleagues. And with that, uh, thank you for this opportunity, my colleague, uh, Mr. Schweikert, and Mr. Speaker. With that, I'll yield back my time to Mr.